Rastaman Vibration was really the first album cover I, I got to do for Bob and I was living at 56 Oak Road at Bob's house at the time. So I went downstairs, I had some images I had shot of Bob from long before and I did a watercolor wash of Bob, you know, in that militant uh, army jacket and stuff and cut it out and pasted on a piece of burlap because burlap was what I was working with that time because instead of canvas as an artist because burlap symbolized the uh, sackcloth, the roots of Rasta. You know, it's just simple like, we call it crocus bag in Jamaica. I said, man wearing crocus bag is a really poor man on the street, like a homeless person. That's, you find old flower sacks and make some clothes out of it. So that was a root element. And then Bob came downstairs, passed by my little place, and I just heard a word say, and the album covered that. And when I look out, that was Bob. And he said, yeah, I like that. Well, speaking of which, here's one of the most precious pieces in the archive. This is the middle version of the album cover for his only top ten album, Rastaman Vibration. And this is the version where he, Neville Garrick, the art director, wrote, this album jacket is good for cleaning herb. <laughs> and uh, Neville signed it for me recently. But it's before they put the lyrics in there, and the back cover wow. doesn't have the uh, information of it yet. Wow. So that's, that's a precious piece. <laughs>